as a project manager you should know what is the risk probability and the impact of that risk when this risk happens happens what is the impact that's going to occur how much can you bear what is the risk appetite your organization has and what are the thresholds set by your organization beyond which you're not going to accept the risk in this video i'm going to help you understand this table given in pinbox edition on probability and impacts of risk <coughs> for time cost and quality so you see a very high risk is considered if the probability of occurrence of that is more than 70% for a time frame of for 6 months project and a dollar value of 5 million dollars so this is a very significant impact and overall functionality might get impacted so this risk has a very very high priority similarly a high is the probability of impact is like 50 to 70% and then the values are given 3 to 6 months and a dollar value of 1 to 1 to 5 million dollars significant impact on overall functionality and then you've got the medium low very low nil so these values are there as a project manager in a day to day you may not get to work directly on this 5 million risk cost but you will get to know what is having this risk is this risk a blocker usually known as a p1 okay or it's like a major risk okay so zoom impact in many things so it's like a p2 all right so we may prioritize p1 p2 sometimes a risk if it becomes an issue then it becomes a blocker then you go and look into that if some risk have become uh, major issues it becomes a p2 so understand this so you have to prioritize your risk so for prioritizing is in your list you'll have to do a qualitative risk analysis qualitative risk analysis and then you'll have to do a quantitative risk analysis quantitative qualitative analysis is subjective subjective and quantitative is dollar value <clears throat> i'll show you one more table let's scroll down so the probability and impacts matrix so you see here risk with our opportunities and threats you can put a table like this and then you can see those risk like see opportunities very high so this probability value is 0.9 and the impact is 0.8 so the probability impact is a product of probability and impact so it becomes 0.9 into 0.8 as into 0.72 and this is the high opportunity this if you can get that you can get benefited similarly the probability impact for a very high negative risk the threat is over here and very high and negative impact also 0.8 so this also gives you a very high threat so probability and impact of a risk is multiplied and you get the risk score the score of the risk is nothing but the product of p into i so remember this so you will have to know like how you are doing the risk so the very high risk high medium low all these things these are all subjective numbers to get a risk score you can put some values to it and then the product of that becomes the risk score this is still a qualitative risk analysis because this is just the subjective here you know don't get the dollar value so this is not quantitative risk analysis this is not this is qualitative risk analysis so that's all in this video about probability and impact of a risk and the matrix of probability and impact for the risk uh, remember this prioritize your risk work on them have an eye keep an eye watch on this risk and then you should be able to manage the projects in a much better way Wish you all the best for your PMB examination. Bye bye. This is Arham.